What's going on guys? Welcome back. And today I figured I'd do a quick review of these three Lego poly bags that I picked up last weekend. Now, I don't know how new these are, but they're new to me. I saw them at Walmart and I thought they all looked pretty cool and contained some pretty useful pieces which motivated me to pick them up. Now, of course, these are based on Jurassic World, Lego City, and Harry Potter respectively. So, I'll go through them one by one starting with the Jurassic World one. Starting off with the Lego Jurassic World Dinosaur Market Poly Bag, we've got my favorite character from all of the Jurassic films, this random beanie hat guy. Not gonna lie, I have no idea who this is meant to be, I think he's just some random dinosaur vendor. But he's okay, he's just got a gray beanie hat as well as Hawkeye or Cedric Diggory's face print. A torso piece we've seen 10 times over in themes like Harry Potter, Marvel, and several others I'm sure. But the most exciting part of this minifigure is that new one by one printed amber piece with a mosquito stuck inside of it. That's easily the most exciting part of this poly bag and was pretty much the deciding factor in me picking it up. The build of this set is nothing spectacular. It's just a little dinosaur market stand, I guess. I have not seen the newest Jurassic World film, so you guys let me know if this is actually accurate to it, because if there's a dinosaur market in the new Jurassic World film, then that means that this franchise has officially gone off the rails. I do like the way that they created the shaping on the roof with these flat kind of sloped pieces on the top. We've got what looks like some sort of incubation lamp on the side. Underneath it, there is a little egg inside of a bin, and on the front, we've got this fenced-off area with what appears to be a baby velociraptor. Now, I believe I did have this piece beforehand, but not in this color, so that's another pretty exciting part of the set. Definitely the draw of it alongside that new amber piece. Moving on to the LEGO City Farm and Scarecrow polybag, we've got this farmer guy who's got some green overalls, a green hat, and a pretty standard LEGO City facial expression. He also comes equipped with a pitchfork, which is nothing new for me. But what is new for me is this LEGO watering can piece, which I've never seen before, and I'm really glad to have it in my collection. But of course, the draw of this polybag for me was that new bunny piece right there, which I think does a pretty great job representing Hester, Lee Scoresby's demon from his Dark Materials. Don't worry, Dark Materials fans out there, I will definitely be doing a custom minifigure showcase before the newest season releases later this year. Moving on to the builds of this set, we've just got a little crate here with a couple carrots inside of it, alongside this little piece of farmland with a scarecrow on it, as well as a ton of different plant pieces. I really love the variety of different plant pieces included in this polybag, along with that new pumpkin piece, which I've never seen before, and that I'm once again very glad to now have in my collection. Moving on to which is quite easily my favorite of these three, we have the Build Your Own Hogwarts polybag. Starting off, we have a brand new Dumbledore minifigure right here, who of course comes equipped with a dark tan wand, a chocolate frog, as well as a chocolate frog card. Now, one of the coolest things about this set is that it has a ton of variety. Depending on which version of this polybag you pick up, you may get a different character on the Chocolate Frog card. For example, if I were to guess, the character on my card is Minerva McGonagall. But depending on which version of the set you end up getting, you might end up with a different character printed on that tile, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Taking a closer look at the minifigure, you can tell that it's very similar to past versions of Dumbledore, except that he's got a new magenta color scheme going on, as well as different colored hair. Comparing him to the 2018 version of Dumbledore, you can see that the face printing and printing on the torso is very similar, except for the fact that he now has white hair rather than gray. Moving on to the build here, we have a pretty cute miniature version of Hogwarts. All I can say is I wish this polybag had existed back when I made my trailer recreation for The Secrets of Dumbledore, because that trailer opens with a wide shot of Hogwarts, and I had to build my own mini version of Hogwarts all out of my own pieces. If this polybag had been around back then, then it would have made my job a lot easier. But what's even cooler about this is that I have a ton of spare pieces left over after building it that I never used on the actual build here. And that is because, based off of the packaging, there are two different versions of Hogwarts that you can build. Depending on which version of this polybag you buy, 
you might end up with a different instruction manual on how to build one of those alternate versions of Hogwarts, which I think is awesome. That combined with the different chocolate frog cards being included makes for one of my favorite Lego polybags of all time, in all honesty. If you ask me, that's what Lego is all about, being creative, making alternate builds. I don't know why more polybags aren't like this. With all that being said, that's about it for my triple review of these three LEGO polybags. If I were to rank them, I would say the Jurassic World one is probably my least favorite, because aside from the baby Velociraptor and Amber pieces, there isn't really anything special about it. Next up would be the Farm polybag, because I really love that bunny piece as well as those different plant pieces. And of course, my favorite would have to be the Build Your Own Hogwarts, because it's from one of my favorite franchises, along with the fact that the alternate building features really do give it a lot of value that I feel a lot of LEGO polybags don't have. But you guys let me know, what are your thoughts on these three polybags? Do you have them in your collection, or are you considering picking them up after watching my review? Just whatever your thoughts are, please let me know them all in the comments below. And of course, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.